Hey everyone, this is Ryan Wade with UniqueApps.com. Today's app review is going to cover the free app, Whiteboard. Whiteboard um, is described actually in the iTunes store, in the App Store, as a new collaborative drawing tool that allows two iPhone or iPod Touch devices to create pictures together over iFi or over Wi-Fi. Um, I don't really see the purpose in joining another network just so I can draw on a whiteboard together because well I just I just don't see the purpose of this maybe if this was if you could well I'll show you some features in here that I wish this had basically really simple app you start off you can select your color color right now it's selected as black I can change the width right here I'm gonna change this to a little bit smaller than it is right now I can change the width I can change also this is right here that's the eraser and I tap to start drawing um, drawing tools have been hidden it says this is the first time I've opened the app touch the screen with two fingers to show them again so really simple app I'm going to show I'm going to turn this sideways just to illustrate how you draw on this um, super I could see this again maybe for illustrating something if you're if you're uh, you have a diagram or something like this and I don't know just just illustrating something to somebody the thing that I don't like about this app is you're you're limited to the iPhone screen. You can't zoom out any. You you can't expand this whiteboard any. As soon as you touch the screen with two fingers, this device comes up. Um, now up here, I forgot to show you. This says Ryan Wade's iPhone. Somebody, in order to draw on this on the same whiteboard, somebody has to be joined on my um, Wi-Fi network, which again, I don't really see the purpose of two people standing on within the same Wi-Fi network drawing a picture together. I really don't, because again, um, you're limited to this space. So if you have another person drawing on this space, I mean, it fills up pretty quickly. And um, one thing, or a couple things I wish this app would have, a easy to use interface where I could select the erase tool really quickly right here and just wipe this screen um, but I got a touch with two screens or two fingers I have to select the erase tool oops I have to select the erase tool and then I also have to change the width oops. and I didn't See, as you can see the usability, I have to change the width and then now it's easier, so I tap here to begin, now it's easy to erase this. Um, and it's kind of, again, kind of a tedious task just to erase something and then I have to touch it with two, screen, two fingers, go back to the black and then zoom back down um, to where I want it. So, kind of a cool idea. Again, maybe cool to just to have, it's free, I mean, so you're not having to pay anything. I mean, you can download this and check this out. Maybe cool, like I said, to just draw a little chart to maybe illustrate something to maybe a colleague or something like that. Um, the actual drawing feature does, it, it is pretty pretty easy to draw on here. Let me show you, well, I'll write my name. Um, better than a lot of text. I mean, obviously, I, I have crummy handwriting, but but super easy to um, draw on here very easy it's it's not um, pixelated at all it looks the lines are very smooth so as you can see right there lines are very smooth it looks really good but again a couple things that I wish this would have is um, I'll go there a way to zoom out so you can you can kinda move images over and you can have a bigger so I can zoom this section out and then also just an easy, maybe a drop down menu so I could just select erase or erase all or something like that instead of having to go back selecting the eraser, um, stuff like that. There are a couple of, well, and then also because this is a free app, it's supported by ads on the bottom. So, so um, that's really the whiteboard app. I give it, I guess, a two out of five stars. I think it, it can be useful in some situations, but probably just better to have a pen and paper. If you don't have a pen and paper and you're trying to illustrate something, this might be a good app for you. Again, two out of five stars. It is a free app, though. Go ahead and download. Check it out in the App Store. Hope you enjoyed this app. Again, this is Ryan with UniqueApps.com. Please subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, for, um, for more app reviews. Hope you all have a great day.